The first time we met, she propositioned me. She seemed so sure. I was sure. It was so shy and mysterious. Why is it important to explore this story now? Interestingly, I fell in love with this um, film in late 2008 when I was in early pre-production on the King's Speech. But when I looked up Lily Elba and Gerda Vane on the internet, I was surprised how little there was about them. So one of the reasons for making the film now is to kind of restore uh, their place in history and restore attention on them as, as the extraordinary pioneering couple that they were. Lily, Albert and Gerda was pioneers of that time to, I feel like, going through what they did in a world when the references of their journey wasn't really uh, a part of um, their environment and society. And it's, it is progressive, I think, to, to be so willing and, and never become weak and to be fine with even sacrificing a lot for the person that you love and, and for the thing that is right and, and also because of the pure emotion and love that you feel for somebody, I think is, uh, I think is quite extraordinary. The fact is, I believe that I'm a woman. And I believe it too. How much of Lily's self-discovery do you think was due to the sort of the support and the way that uh, Ina was her muse? I, I, well, I think it's that thing of any artist who's... Uh, because in the, in the beginning of the film, she hasn't really found her voice. She's not a successful artist in the beginning of the film. And that thing, when you actually do become successful, I think is because you start as an artist. In whatever you do, you start to find the essence of, of, of your true, true truth to your art. What do you think films like this will do for trans filmmakers? I, I, I hope it um, uh, will encourage uh, trans filmmakers to, to come forward with, with more stories. Because you're the only person who made sense of me. And made me possible.